Hey guys, what's up? It's Jules here for WhatCulture.com and I'm joined by Rich. How are you this morning? I'm good this morning. Fantastic, that's what I like to hear because we're about to hit some news, so let's hit that jingle. It's, it's time, time for news. news, have you got the itch? itch? I, I guess, guess it's time for Jules and Rich. What the fuck? And we're back in the room and today we're talking about Black Ops 4 or more specifically about Black Ops 4's weird sort of season pass slash DLC bundles that's going on. I, I, it's quite confusing. There's a lot of details that have emerged as of yesterday and it doesn't seem to be the most practical way of getting no. content into your game, does it? Absolutely not. So, if you've been watching E3, you might have seen that most of the big FPSs, things like Battlefield 5 and even things like Destiny, they've turned running on, right, okay, all the DLC, all the all the stuff you're going to get post-release mm -hmm. is going to be free. No subscriptions, nothing like that. It's almost like that's a really it's good all, selling point, Yeah, everything's it? moving away from all this stuff that we had last year with Battlefront mm -hmm. 2. Mm -hmm. um, and then Activision had turned around and gone, actually, do you know what? Let's not change it up. Let's do the same thing again. So uh, a few days ago, the sort of deluxe editions of the game, yeah. obviously you can get various... Um, sort of stages of the game again, really expensive ones come with loads of stuff and just the, the basic one. Yeah. Um, but they turned around and said, okay, so the season pass is gone, but the Black Ops pass is in. Now, now immediately, that's alarm bells. That's literally because, just a renamed season pass. Yeah, that's that's basically just like taking the season pass, scrubbing out the first bit of the name. But it's the, no, it's the Black Sharpying Ops. Sharpying it over it, the it's, top. It's the Black yeah. Ops one, guys. But the, they said so. When you when you get the when you get the Black Ops pass, sorry, mm. you get a, a classified zombies map on launch, which mm -hmm. is rumored to be five, which is cool. Um, you get four zombies maps. You get twelve multiplayer maps and four blackout characters, and that's over. The I'd say it will be the year. Almost after the game releases. Almost, uh, like over, it's, over a season, you'd yeah. say. Over a season. Um, apparently pass, it's not yeah. going to be downright DLC 1, DLC mm. 2, DLC 3, DLC 4. They're apparently they're just going to just slowly roll it out over the course of the year. It, they've just changed up how they're going to give it to you, but you're but still that's, paying for but it. But that's the one thing I actually do agree with. I think that that's actually a uh, smarter yeah. move to do, to keep your players invested, is to buy every other month there's a new piece of content coming yeah. out. That's actually a smarter way and of doing it. And that's what they've done content. in Black Ops 3, but they've just been doing it by saying, here's new weapons, they're still behind loot boxes, which people aren't too keen on. Right. But okay. that's it's still a, a bit of a change, but they're still charging you to have all this DLC stuff. But there mm. is even more to this yeah, and this that's where it gets weird. initially um activision said if you bought if you bought if you're buying the basic edition of the game so you're literally just buying the game mm -hmm. you can't get the black ops pass you can't buy it separately or buy it as an add-on but that made that made no sense absolutely no, no, no sense, sense at all everyone was just like do you not want my extra money then or like yeah. how am i meant to get this so content then they said okay so black ops pass is only available for people who are getting like the deluxe edition or the digital deluxe mm -hmm. edition and up so if you pre-ordered it on um battle net because obviously black ops 4 isn't coming to steam yeah um on ps4 or xbox one on their stores all you have to do is go on there and say Tick a box, I'll yeah. pay the difference, yeah. there we go. But Activision said if you went to a store and you pre-ordered it physically, this is you had to done. go back to the store and say, excuse me, can I upgrade my pre-order to be the deluxe edition or higher, please? And the, and the person behind the till says, I would love to help you out, but this is a stupid way of doing things, isn't it? <laughs> and then you respond, Yes, it is actually quite inconvenient. I've had to take time off work to come back in and do yeah. this again. I've, got, I've probably got fired from Audi or wherever it is I'm working. <laughs> so, of course, there's been this huge outrage all over Twitter, all over mm. Reddit. Um, Treyarch are currently busy, obviously, doing all their booth stuff at E3. Yeah. I just, um, I, right. Okay, I, I, and so they've changed it now. They have. Yeah. They, apparently, Activision have said that now the Black Ops, the Black Ops Pass, will be purchasable. Separately, um, I read somewhere that that might not be straight away. But why was but... it not even a thing to begin with? I don't understand the concept of them ever that. Imagine the suits sitting there at their desk, just going right. Well, so we're going to change the season pass. We're going to change mm. the black pass. Let's not make sure, sure that people can't buy it separately. Uh, why? Oh, so, uh, streamlining. Yeah. Uh, it, it coagulates. Uh, More uh, people to buy the special uh, editions of the game. Yeah. Uh, it's just, it's just, it's pathetic. It is. That is. Like, I mean, I don't care if the game is great. The marketing behind this is already on a. F I know they've they've really not done well with this. Mm. Uh, COD points are still are still uh, in the game. You mm. get them with the pre-order bonuses. Like when I pre I pre-ordered the the deluxe edition of World War II, so I got the season pass, but that's where right. I get all the DLC. I got loads of COD points with that by default. They're doing that again, which means COD points are still in, which means loot boxes are still in, because they serve no other purpose other than loot boxes. Yeah. Um, and then the last thing that was really, really interesting that, that hasn't been commented on <laughs> oh, yeah, this was is so the, the Back in Black map pack, which is four maps from Black Ops 1 and 2. The best be, maps, you would like, argue. Four really good maps mm -hmm. being released for Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4 and you can get it if you pre-order the game. But... Except, obviously, um, at the minute, Activision is in Sony's pocket, so similar to back in like the Black Ops era, 
you got the map packs 30 days early on Xbox 360, which is great for me. Yeah. Now it's on. Now you get it early on PS4, but this map pack is only available for PS4. Only on PS4. So if you want, if you want to play Firing Range and Jungle and Summit, you know some of the best maps from Black Ops One and Slums from Black Ops Two, you can only do it on PS4. If you've got a PC or an Xbox. You're screwed. Sorry. And, and it's one of those things where I I know Activision. They will probably release this further down the oh, line, they like will a do. year they will later do. in a super deluxe edition that they'll be hiking up to the full price again. Yeah. But at the same time, this whole sort of console exclusivity thing, it's dead. The yeah. whole thing is like, it's the war between them doesn't exist. It's only in the minds of the developers themselves. The people are just like, well, thanks for just screwing me out. I'm just not going to buy that game then. I'll wait until it yeah, comes out. Yeah, there's a lot like, of people saying, I've cancelled my pre-order. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, not going to I'm not going to buy a PS4. I mean, I'm lucky enough that I own a PS4 and like, so... I I'm, have a I'm, PS4 as well, but I'm not going to buy Black Ops 4 for no, PS4. Yeah, I want it for I, PC. I feel so. like that's just such a sort of like shank in the face for yeah. no reason. Just like take that Xbox owners and it's like, oh, right, well. And I mean, the whole thing with the PC not even getting that on Steam and stuff. I mean, like, yeah. It's interesting because similar to what they did with World War II, mm. they've said, right, we're we're teaming up with Beanox to make the PC experience of Black Ops 4 a really big deal, which is great to hear. Yeah, yeah. But true, they true. said that about World War II and it was still not really much different. And if you've seen mm. what Beanox have done in the past, they did the Xbox 360 ports and PS3 port of Black Ops 3, which if you've seen is an absolute joke. So um, when they say it's in the right hands, I can't mm. agree with them on that one. Anyway, that's been the Black Ops news. Let us know what you think about this. Are you going to cancel your pre-order or are you still hyped? for that tripe. As always, I have been Jules. I've been Rich. You've been awesome, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Bye.